Hello folks, welcome back. For I'm the one, the only, I am a hobo Tom. And I can't believe it, but I'm I'm almost back to where I should be. I think I, I made the recordings for the one video. The live one. Um, tomorrow I have to hobo. <sighs> Maybe Wednesday. I'll get to work on that. Eventually I have to show it. Let's catch up with some stuff. This was a wild two weeks of wrestling. Thankfully, I have Saturday where I can just well, work at the races. And yes, there will be a race video coming up soon. And I have to do that too. Shoot. Um, so yeah. Let's see here. How do I want to do this? Yeah, that's okay. I'll figure something out. Can I do that? No, I have to do that. That's okay. I'll figure something out, folks. I did it to show you. Maybe... I don't want to do it tomorrow morning. If I could. I don't know. We'll see. I have to figure stuff out. I might be... I might wind up showing you my feast a little bit later. I just realized I needed to plug my cell phone in. I need my cell phone to wake up. So let's see here. Well, let's talk about some stuff. Let's go back in history. Um, Triple Mania. Wow. I know so little about Triple Mania and Triple A wrestling. Um, obviously, my predictions were way off. So I only got one... Two, jeez, jeez, I only got two, right? I guess I'm a normal mark. So that was triple mania. It's like it's in the dustbin, as they say, over in Bonnie Old England. However. I do know my WWE because for my SummerSlam predictions, I got my Stone Cold match right. My, my the match to snooze right. And was there a match of the night? I didn't pick a match of the night. That's oh no, yes I did. So I got the match and then I got the match of the night wrong because that was a snooze fest too. But overall, I got one, two, three. Wow, nine out of ten, right? Yeah, for the most part. Which one did I not get right? Got that one right. Jeez, wait a second. Did I get all of them right? Wait a second. Roman Reigns, Charlotte Flair, Bobby Lashley, the Usos. Yeah, whoever was going to face Bianca Belair. Oh, I only got one wrong. Oh, wow. Wow. I only got one wrong? That's because I chose Seth Rollins to go over Edge. I'm impressed with myself. You know what that means? I'm in the head for during SummerSlam. I'm in the head of one Paul Levesque. So this can go in the dustbin. And finally, oh yeah, this is gonna be a long video too. I think. Takeover. Um, I'll tell you what. Takeover was infinitely better. Than SummerSlam. Entertainment wrestling wise, it was actually probably better than AAA. Entertainment wise, nothing could be better than AAA. AAA is just absolutely bonkers. But for NXT Takeover, I got three out of five matches right. Plus, I got the Stone Cold Lock and the Match of the Night right. Wow. So I gave myself four out of five. You know what that means, folks. 
even in the realm of NXT, I am in the realm, I know the inner workings of Paul Levesque. Wow. I'm good with my WWE predictions. Outside of WWE, I stink. And now, let's go to the list of El Vagabundo. El Vagabundo wrote a bunch of names down. Hijo del Hobo, El Vagabundo. So let's see here. These were people that were saying hi to me during my once short-lived Ustream. Because YouTube sucks. The WWE sucks. And for the five, for literally for like five seconds, they took my video down. Shame on you for five seconds. Terrible. And I think it's still working too. I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. That's a whole other issue <laughs> I'm having right now. Um, so the list of the Vagabond list. List del El Vagabundo. SM. Good man. You always win twice because you win by a six count. Axeless, you sir know how to groove playing the air guitar.
Mark King. Mark King. You're just chilling out, listening to your briefcase boombox. Wundercast production. That's right, I am the man. But you, sir, always win by Dirty Pen. Richard Harris! You, sir, can crawl out of here. <laughs> Christopher Zumeka. Holy shit. Here. Big GJ21 used to have that infamous Lucha on a forklift. J. J. Recycles, recycles. I think. think. You, sir, sir. know that Jordan has back. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Pakchun C S H A. You know that Natalia. Natalia is superior. And super fudge twenty four seven. I think you only have one or two more before you become featured in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. I'll make you as a character. You've talked to me enough. Um, that or your name sounds super familiar. 
but that's okay. You've been watching my show for probably long enough. You probably deserve to be in the Daytona Beach Fun Fight League. You're so close. But you, sir, will have to walk out of here. David Moore. O M F G. Christopher Fernandez. You, sir, know you're a kung fu fighting. And then Onita Fun, you sir, just got tossed. Yes, I'd like to thank all those people for watching. Again, continue to watch, continue to like, continue to share, and subscribe, and write to YouTube. Say, yeah, let him get his work done. Let me get my shit in. Um, let's see here. So now, let's talk about Monday Night Raw, since I haven't done this video in a while. Um, let's see here. How to start off. As you can tell by the title, this is just called the recaps, Recap Slam. Because for the most part, they just did recaps all throughout the show. Bobby Lashley comes out, calls a promo, do some SummerSlam recaps. MVP taunts the crowd and says, yeah, you fat piece of shit. You, you can't get in here because you're a coward. You, you, you screw scrawny pencil neck geek. You won't get in this because you're a coward. And lady, don't even try. You've ra you, you yourself are a cow coward and has raised a bunch of cowards. It was actually pretty cool. I think MVP does like the fact that there's live people there. Um, Damien Priest then comes out and says, I'm not a coward. And then, of course, Raw starts. So we have Bobby Lashley versus Damien Priest. Starts off big slam to start. Oh, wow. Lashley picked up where he left off last night. A flatliner, Priest however does a slight comeback. Some kicks in the clothesline. And then Seamus jumps in the ring. So you know what this means, folks. This I thought was gonna be pretty good. 
it got interfered with way too early. The DQ finish. Damian Priest wins. But you know what? This is a dusty can of soup from 1958. And eventually Drew McIntyre comes for the save. And you know what? Holla, 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 player. We got ourselves a tag team match. So next time you come back after the intermission, we have Bobby Lashley and Sheamus taking on Damian Priest and Drew McIntyre. Drew and Sheamus start off. More likely the, the fresher two. I don't know what Drew did to his ribs. His whole like stomach, abdomen section was like beet red, which is weird. Uh, Sheamus eventually tags out. And then it was Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre. Classic stuff. Bobby re really works over. Um, Drew McIntyre until he eats a big boot. Uh, Priest gets in. Priest gets distracted by MVP. And then gets sent to the barricade by Bobby Lashley. Uh, let's see, there's something in the front. Oh, yeah, sent head first. Into the, into the pose on the table. That table was not breaking today, folks. That was weird. Uh, Drew then gets the hot tag, tosses Lashley around, which was pretty cool to see. Um, eventually, Bobby Lashley does post himself as he usually does. Uh, Sheamus hit an avalanche white noise that wouldn't finish it. Bobby Lashley said, You can't finish it with that. <sighs> I'm out of here. He walks away. Sheamus eats a Claymore. Damien Priest and Drew McIntyre win. Yeah, throwing together a match. It's a ham sandwich match. You know what? Maybe I will do this tomorrow morning. Yeah. I have a video of me. I can do it anytime tomorrow, really. So, yeah. Maybe, yeah, this might get up a little bit late tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. I'm just trying to to shower, to shave, then I have to go to work early tomorrow morning because I'm opening all week. Which we'll find out which is better, opening all week or closing all week. We shall see. Then we had Karrion Cross versus Ricochet. Uh, this really wasn't much of a match. Ricochet, again, he tried to go, he, he jumped Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross looks absolutely terrible. He looks like Lord Humongous. He doesn't have the gut like Lord Humongous does. He looks jacked like a gladiator. But that doesn't mean he should be Lord Humongous from Mad Max, though. Uh, Ricochet, he tries to go toe-toe -to with Karrion Cross. Very bad idea. But slugging for Ricochet. Uh, Ricochet just got slugged out by Karrion Cross. Eventually, Ricochet does, try, does do some flippy stuff. That's how he's going to make this very quick comeback. Then all of a sudden, Karen Croft, big doomsday suplex. He, like, picked him up. Like a super, not super sided suplex. More like a really darn big pickup Urnagi. And then into the um, cross jacket, which is his version of the choke. Karen Cross wins. Meh. Ham sandwich of a match. Then uh, backstage, Sheamus, he goes after Bobby Lashley. He and Bobby Lashley are going to have a match next week. I mean, I'll skip it. Oh, we'll see. And then it's Moist TV with Logan Paul. I have no why, no reason. I don't even know who Logan Paul is. He was famous because he made a mockery of, I think, MMA. And he does, like, YouTube work, I guess. I have no clue who he is. Really don't care either. Um... Logan Paul gets booed, though. I, I, whatever. Miz comes out after a while, and then they're finally, we have finally have the, the tease of the breakup between the Miz and John Mundo. Xavier Woods comes out with his trombone. Go to break. And then we have Xavier Woods versus, Xavier Woods versus the Miz. Miz kind of, first part, fakes an injury. Yeah, we all know how that goes with the heel doing that. 
Uh, Mundo makes a slip and slide. That's great. But this time, it's not Xavier Wood who goes down it. Miz goes down that fake slip and slide. So that was funny. That was pretty good. Uh, Miz hit some yes kicks. Xavier had a cross body. And there was a uh, Miz came back a little bit. His short DDT. However, there was a distraction. It's a roll up victory by Xavier Woods. Miz loses. It was an okay. It was like it wasn't a bad match. I don't know. This whole show was kind of maybe I was just on downer from all the wrestling and stuff. But yeah, it was a. I'll I'll, I'll be fair. It was a cheeseburger match. I don't want to be like everyone poo-poo everything that really doesn't deserve. Although, really, the re big reason why this is a cheeseburger match is because this teases the breakup between the Miz and, Miz and Johnny and John Morrison. Um, they square people, then all of a sudden the Miz turns on Johnny Mundo. This is going to be good. So there's a little thing with Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley. Will you please? Oh, I can't even. Everything with Nikki Cross is just wrong. Uh, Ginger Mahal versus Mansoor. This was like weird. Uh, Mansoor just gets pounded. He tries to come back. Ginger would just stomp him. In the corner. Ginger does his stomps, but the referee goes one. The referee goes two. Referee says three. Hey, listen, Ginger, back off. The referee goes four. Hey, listen, I'm at four. Don't make me get to five. The referee's at five. It says, Ginger, I, I counted to five. It matches over. You're, you're disqualified. Technically, Mansoor wins, so Ali shouldn't be upset. But you, you know what? Mansoor wins, but it's it's a wasn't a bat. wasn't It was a can of soup. Then we have Charlotte. Oh wow, this is actually the end of it. Charlotte Flair comes out for a celebration. Alexa Bliss, so I guess Alexa Bliss will get into a feud with Charlotte. I don't even care. Um, th there was something with... Yeah, this shows you how interested I was in this. Eva Marie and Dewdrop. Didn't care. Don't care about Eva Marie. She still has terrible matches. Don't care. Don't want to worry about it. I just... The only thing I want to see is is is... is Either her vagina pop out or, or tits pop out. That's it. Yeah, I just want to see a, a wardrobe malfunction from her. That's all she's good for, unfortunately. And then we had Rhea Ripley and Nikki Glenn Cross. So I refuse to use her Nikki A-S-H. Nikki Glenn Cross. Versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Again, they're going to tease this a little bit more. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler were backstage saying, yeah, you should have team stayed teaming with me, not Charlotte. It's pretty good. Uh, it's the first part, Nikki goes all over them. Nikki goes Nikki Cross, which is what you have to see. I don't want to see her as a superhero from um, Pets. I think as Super Bunny or whatever that character was. I don't even remember that well. Um, Shannon then again starts training, punches on Nikki, tries to go for the arm breaker. That wasn't happening. Nikki got, uh, Nikki got thrown head first into the second turnbuckle. She can't even reach the top turnbuckle. It's Nikki Cross, though. Bundle of squirrel eating coffee grinds. Uh, Rhea eventually gets into the ring, drop kicks. Nia Jax drop kicks Shannon Baszler. That was pretty good. Uh, has a beautiful she has she, I'll tell you what Rhea Ripley when she's not in wrestling gear she looks absolutely gorgeous Shayna Baszler in wrestling gear looks absolutely gorgeous naturally WWE just like either ugly up their women or whore up their women I can't figure out which then there was again the heel miscue and by the way I can see the side straps of Nia Jax's thong in her outfit, though. Kind of a good thing, I guess. Maybe. Break break my other hip. Cause my back more issues. <laughs> um, yeah, we were hopefully then headbutts 
Sheena Biz are in the tits. <laughs> Just saying that sounds weird. Um, then hits the Riptide. Yep, Rhea Ripley and Nikki Glenn Cross go over. Cheeseburger match. It was an RK Bro celebration in the ring. That was pretty cool. They had the balloons and everything. AJ comes out. Omos comes out slowly after him. Go to break. And then it's just recap mania. So the next match we have is AJ Styles versus Matt Riddle. This was actually really fun. Uh, AJ is so good of a wrestler. Matt Riddle is so good. If he's not goofy. So with all that being said, this was a pre. For the most part, they had a good. Main event match. Uh, AJ Styles, again, he goes right after Matt Riddle. They start uh, good good standing switches, good bottom switches. Great collegiate wrestling. If you're going to do some collegiate wrestling and it's going to be crisp like that, I'm happy with it. And there was a series of kicks by uh, Riddle. Uh, he had the three gun gun wrenches in a row. Great counters, though, by AJ Styles. Great counter wrestling. AJ Styles turned a sunset flip. Into an attempted Styles Clash, into a triangle, and then it was another Styles Clash, and then it was a Hurricane outside the ring. That's fun. And there's good chain action going on. I can't complain about that. Uh, Matt Riddle had the big German suplex that looked amazing. AJ Styles did that like moonsault DDT into a pump handle, and then a gut pump pump handle gut buster. The only move AJ Styles is missing to do is the spinal tap. Only thing missing from his arsenal right now. Uh, AJ, again, he, he even hit a burning hammer. A um, little bit more back and forth. Omos just stares down Matt Riddle when he goes to the top rope and gets beat up with the new scooter with the, with the tassels that Riddle gave... Randy Orton, because Randy Orton was ringside, he got this, like, purple metal flake scooter with, like, purple tassels. He just stared at it, but he used it pretty much as a weapon against Omos. Makes sense. Um, that kind of distracted AJ Styles a little bit. Then Matt Riddle had the bro, Derek. You know what? This is the saving grace of this show. I'll say it was a surf and turf match. The good news is I got to do stuff for all this show, so it didn't seem too long. And I got house, some house stuff done. It's always good. And I should get more house stuff done, too. My cat likes to lay in that pile. So that was Monday Night Raw. Um, you know what? Here's also a little video of what it was like to feast with El Vagabundo Dos, or Hobo Dos. Yeah, Ijo del Hobo El Vagabundo Dos. Okay, so, well, no one showed up yet, so let's see here. Computer set up, there's that on TV, so I don't know what match they're starting off with. So here, I don't know, superheroes. Oh, look at that, neon color plates and dishes, that's cool. Oh my goodness, got some taco stuffs. Oh, look at this, so good. I'll let Jorge know what he's missing on. Okay, so that's the main stuff. And here, it's never bright in here for some reason. Again, the tequila and rum bar. And kind of everything else. All the normal sodas and stuff. Only thing I'm still waiting for is the ice. So again, let's kind of pan back. That's the good shit right there. Well, I have one fan. I have no idea who this is. I guess this is Triple Mania. There she is. Bye, folks. So again, the schedule for this week. Um, I'll probably be doing more live stuff tomorrow. Because that's going to be NXT. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. NXT after live shows are kind of weird. 
might do a live stream of AEW Wednesday. And of course, Impact Live on Thursday Beer Day. And I'll probably be off Friday because I have to go work the races Saturday. I'm naturally off, which is what I need. Well, I have to go work the races. That's a whole other issue. But I have the weekend with no wrestling. I get to uncompress at least. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And you'll see this video up hopefully sometime tomorrow. Can't promise much, but I'll try. Bye.